Hello, it's uh, Sunday morning, uh, just uh, enjoying a cup of tea. It was Sunday, Sunday afternoon now. I uh, had the uh, Divine Marquis and the Vulnerable Miss Fraser over last night. Um, and we were drinking a traditional porter brewed in Scotland, which was very nice. And um, uh, and I hope nobody was too offended. It was only a bit of banter and uh, the last video and uh, uh, me being a little playful and joking. Anyway, uh, so uh, this video, uh, last week, or was it the week before last, I had to go and have a, I, took an, I had an appointment at uh, the hospital, and um, I um, had a bit of time to kill, so I went into a little charity shop, and I found this book. I don't know whether you can get that and see the chat on it, which is a guy called Jack Hargreaves, who was um, a very interesting man, a kind of uh, countryman. His family, his people, farmed in Yorkshire, and he ended up down in the south of England, uh, and um, was a television presenter, and he did a children's programme called How, which, back in the 70s, you'd see him smoking a pipe on. Uh, I don't think you'd see that today on a children's programme. Uh, he was, uh, had a wonderful way uh, with words, and uh, the programme I most remember him for, uh, my father was of a sort of country type, and as was my mother, and um, we used to always watch a programme called Out of Town, which uh, would show various rural pastimes, pursuits, and agricultural things and whatnot, you know. And it was fascinating, uh, he was, uh, he'd sit there puffing, he the, the set they had was a kind of shed. And he'd sit there puffing away on his... Uh, he used to smoke falcon pipes. I have to say, I nearly bought one the other day to, in sort of honour of Jack Hargreaves. And I looked at it and I thought, this is the most awful piece of uh, engineered, mass-produced rubbish. And I just didn't fancy it. There's no charm to it at all. It was... Uh, Clive sells a few and I think a lot of people do like smoking them. An old friend of mine who's now sadly passed away... He uh, smoked falcon pipes, and um, I've never really, they've not really done it for me ever. And um, anyway, old Jack Hargreaves, anyway, getting back to the point, he was all, uh, so anyway, uh, he was a, did this program out of town, and uh, one of the things, people would send him in things, and uh, he'd um, take a look at it, and you'd have to kind of, uh, he'd show it to you, and then there would be a little piece. Uh, you know, film, and they'd come back to the studio where he'd be in his little shed sitting there, and then he'd tell you what it was and see if you got it right or not, and um, as I say, there was a certain charm to it, and, you know, even if you weren't particularly, and I was only a child, I was only sort of, you know, in the 70s, I was in, I was quite young, you know, but I used to, I was mesmerised by the man, because he had a way of making you know, the very, uh, there was a, a one on the YouTube where it, the wicks from oil lamps and you have a, it's like a pair of scissors with a scoop thing on it, and the wick, the spent wick, falls into the um, into the scoop. And to be honest with you, you'd think, no, oh, that doesn't sound very interesting. But um, he would, he, he would, he, you know, he was talking about it. And he talked about how his mother, who was a very house proud lady, every day would go around him because once a oil lamp burns and goes black, you get a lot more sooty smoke, so it's very dirty, and. Uh, so if you keep trimming the wicks, you don't get that sort of smoke and whatnot. And they're uh, talking about how his uh, his mother was uh, would go around every day um, doing that. But anyway, this is my out of town tribute. Now, I wonder what you think this might be. <laughs> I'm smoking uh, today some of this. Smells lovely. It's uh, I think there's a bit of perique in there in Virginia's. It's uh it's um sent to me by Heyo. Strong curly. And um, this device was also sent to me by Heyo. And what you do is you uh, stick the rope in the hole. If you can see that like that. And then you cut some off and then you rub it out. And you stick it in your pipe, which is what I've done. Unfortunately, I don't have somebody here who can um, 
demonstrate it. Perhaps uh, next time the, the Vulnerable Miss Fraser's here, I'll uh, get her to uh, to uh, help me. Um, yeah, so very nice tobacco, quite strong. Oh, I haven't had any... quite near the end of the bowl. I'm smoking it in a 1962 Dunhill laid back Dublin Grinitzer Group 3. It's about the right size for strong tobacco. I quite like smoking, um, I don't know what you call old fashioned sort of like ropes and uh, slices and uh, so on. What, uh, well, you know, so from you know, videos before, so the Westmoreland slices so I was quite a favourite at the moment. Um, and um, I have to say they are quite strong so a big bowl of, of, of strong curly would probably make you go green but um, but in a smaller bowl a group three group four uh, it's just right and uh, you don't go green and feel horrible I have to say I lit this up this morning and uh, before I took the dog out and it, I did feel a little uh, light-headed, but um, yeah. So there we go, smoking strong curly, a rope. What they do is they lay the leaves up and then they literally roll them into the, the ropes. Uh, I've seen there's a video, um, Grimmen Treipel, uh, which is a, they make chewing tobacco, but they roll huge long ropes this and cut it into little bits, which you pop in your mouth. And this is the same procedure, really. Is uh, you lie the leaves out, turn them over, and roll them into a rope, similar to cigar making, except you make a very long rope of it, and then you roll them round. Um, the black, uh, the black um, sl uh, ropes, uh, they are a cube shape, but they're pressed and they're steamed, which gives them their colour, and. Uh, they're rather, uh, I do have some black uh, rope, which I topped, topped up and rubbed out. And it's not for everybody. It's got a very, very strange taste. It, this is, tastes very nice. And uh, as I say, I do think there's a little bit of proof in there, maybe. Um, but the black ropes, it, it's the only way to describe it is meaty. And uh, it's, uh, it's a taste all of its own. And they're not flavoured in any way. You can get flavour ones but the black sliced or black triple x and things are um simply pressed steamed and uh, very very strong um and again you'd want a smaller pipe i think to smoke those so anyway uh, i hope you all have a good week um i'm very excited about the 25th of uh, november when the ends and dean are coming down there's already a trip to see clive planned and other things um, yeah, so my little tribute to Jack Hargreaves, great, great man, great pipe smoker, showing off this wonderful device for chopping up ropes and whatnot. Um, yeah, so anyway, I hope you all have a good week, and I'll probably do a video in the middle of the week, maybe, maybe with the professor this time, we'll try and uh, be a little less uh, uh, outrageous, I think is the only way to describe it. Okay, cheers.